In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to transform your tasteless and fruitless fruit trees into some of the most prized plants on your property. Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author of Saving the World with the Home Garden. And today we're going to be discussing how to change these plants that are on your property that are not producing the best quality fruit, or perhaps it's not producing fruit at all. For example, do you have a citrus tree, a peach tree, an apple tree, or even an avocado that's not performing the way you want it to? It's an easy fix. Through the power of grafting, and I'm gonna share with you my favorite grafting technique, and one of the highest possible success rates you can have in grafting is through a grafting technique known as the approach graft. For example, if you have a sour orange tree in your backyard, you can convert that into a sweet navel orange with Eureka lemons and Oro Blanco grapefruit all on the same tree. Or do you have an apple that's not producing a par? You can now graft that with Granny Delicious apples, Red Delicious apples, and even Fuji apples all on the same tree. And another example, say you got a peach tree that's again, not tasting well or not fruiting consistently well from year to year, did you know you can graft peaches with cherries, plums, apricots, and even almonds as they're all in the same prunus family? So as long as you're grafting related varieties of fruits, you can actually have them all standing on the same plant, on that same rootstock. And the value of doing that is many fold. One being is that you're saving space by planting one tree with multiple varieties in a small limited garden space, such as this little pocket here behind me, we're gonna be viewing an avocado tree that was not producing quality avocados and now has two of the best flavor avocados actually fruiting on it. And it's a gigantic tree we're gonna see in just a second with both type A and B variety avocados. Instead of killing the rootstock, instead of starting all over with a brand new quality fruit tree from the nursery, keeping that rootstock and keeping all of those years of history and all of that energy and that root system that has been developed over the last several years, if not decades, as is that avocado tree that we're gonna see just behind me in just a moment, keeping that established rootstock is gonna help drive all of that energy and nutrients and, and years of established history into the desired quality scions, which is the preferred flavors that you're gonna be introducing into your property that are gonna guarantee you the quality taste, the consistent yields, and exactly what you would expect of, for example, what we're gonna see in just a moment here now, is the introduction of a Hass type A avocado with a Fuerte type B avocado. And we've got these two different types of avocados, type A and type B, which when introduced, or at least in the same space, when they're within about 40 to 50 feet of one another, accomplish cross-pollination between the two varieties, help increasing yields by as much as five to 20%, depending on the research that you're reading. And here we have on exactly the same rootstocks, both type A and B varieties. Again, we grafted two years ago that are now reaching over 20 feet in height and supporting successfully dozens of fruit. Let's go and check that out. Just check out that height. Do you remember when we started this grafting project about two years ago? The tree was about this large, but it wasn't producing quality avocados and the yields were pitiful. In just two short years, we got another gigantic tree, again, because it's picking off of the resources of a very strong and established rootstock. Had we started off with a small plant and planted it and waited for the tree to grow this large, it would take several years, not just two short years and not with as much fruit as we're gonna see that's been achieved. And additionally, we have the value of having two quality fruit trees in a very tight space relatively and the a chance of cross-pollination is gonna go through the roof as the plants are benefiting side by side the same exact rootstock, driving the energy of the sun down into the roots and together making the plant stronger and healthier and together cross-pollinating, maximizing fruit yields on both sides of the tree. Let's now take a look inside the canopy of the tree where you can see that we've pruned it down to just a couple of feet off the ground so now let's enter the canopy of the tree. So as you enter, there's actually a couple of fruit right here in your face. Check out these Hass avocados and one more right above. And then another one over here. 
And then there's like, pull back a little bit more and more fruit and more fruit. So right here, we're at the base of the original parent plant avocado tree. And as we work our way up, you can see we're just about two to three feet off the ground and that's where we pruned branch number one and branch number two and then grafted it. Check out this Hass avocado tree scion that we grafted using the approach grafting technique. Look at how large that is. It's at least eight inches in diameter. And then just behind it over here is the Fuerte avocado tree, which is the type B avocado that we grafted onto this prune branch over here. And you can see how well it has since callus in just two short years. This girth would have never been accomplished had we planted the tree directly in the ground. We piggybacked the strength and the energy of the rootstock and drove it into proven quality fruit trees such as the Haas, which are consistently good tasting, high yielding avocados. And then the Fuerte, which is another delicious variety of avocado. And again, by having the type A and type Bs, we've increased the annual expectation in regards to high yield. And then check this out, a rusted can of the Ivy Organic 3-in-1 Plant Guard protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents that we use to protect those grafting wounds. As you can see, that's why it's got some of this white protection from two years ago. I haven't seen this tree in two years and you can see that the protection is still there. It could certainly benefit from another coat um, over the wound. So I'm gonna leave the owner here with another can of our products. So I'm gonna share with you as we leave the canopy of this tree, some sunburn damage that happened when we experienced temperatures in excess of 100 degrees that happened on this plant. And let's check that out. So these plants in the summer months are exposed to close to 14 hours of daylight. And especially when temperatures exceed 100 degrees, that's 14 hours of light that's causing first, second, and third degree burns. The Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard offers that protection against damaging sunburn as well as the insects and rodents from damaging your tree trunk and grafted wound areas and even pruned surfaces from insect invasion. So there's a lot of benefits in an all organic and natural way rather than using chemical synthetic paints that are going to end up contaminating your organic soil. As the products only last an average of about a year or two as the plant continues to grow, you don't want paint flakes in your soil and hence the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard. So man has been grafting fruit trees as well for thousands and thousands of years. They would simply take quality parent plants and take scion wood, which is simply a few inches off of that parent plant and graft it onto seedling rootstocks. So for example, with the avocado tree behind me, if I plant a Hass avocado seed or a Fuerte avocado seed, the seedling that grows is not producing Hass avocados nor Fuerte, but something that's been cross hybridized between those two varieties. And just like our children, our children are not genetically identical to the parents ever. Children are always different just as that avocado seedling is always a random chance variety fruit that may be as good, might be better, but chances are it takes tens of thousands of seedlings to find out who's gonna be the one that's going to inherit. But in the farming world, it takes thousands and thousands of seedlings until the farmer picks just one quality fruit, just as when we visited the Zager fruit orchards up in Northern California. Out of 50,000 seedlings, they only select two or three that are then used to then hybridize and cross into the next generation to create more delicious flavors of fruits for all of us to enjoy. My favorite grafting technique of all of the dozens of different ways of grafting is known as the approach graft, as the approach grafting technique has the highest success rate of all of the grafting methods because both the scion wood, which is desired grafted variety of fruit that you're trying to introduce into your garden, as well as the root stock are both on the same root and healing together over a period of time of at least eight weeks to as much as three to four months. And until you see sufficient callus tissues being formed, you then separate the two parts. So I'm now gonna take you back in time two years ago to when we pruned and successfully grafted the Hass and Fuerte avocado tree onto this less than par variety of avocado. Check this out.
But let me give you a quick um, look at what the structure of the tree is. Check this out. So here's the top of the tree. As we're coming a little closer, you can see all of the flowers as it's getting ready to bloom. We're here the first week of March. And if we come in a little closer, here is the trunk of the tree. It basically comes up into a wishbone structure that then goes up and out. So here we are about 15 minutes later and um, I hope some of you guys remember that video we published about two years ago um, about that fig tree that we was about 15 to 20 feet tall producing beautiful delicious figs um, but we wanted to introduce about another five um, additional figs to that um, tree and we did it you know to basically introduce hopefully some more superior qualities of figs um, onto that particular rootstock. Fuerte avocado we basically peeled half the bark back from the fuerte on the side that would be connected to the rootstock and then we opened basically a V opening onto the rootstock and we basically pressed that in as tight as we can grafted at this point with the fuerte avocado that's now connected to this rootstock so we're going to basically take the scion wood of the desired Fuerte avocado and here on this side we've got the next on wood but all the life that's in this rootstock and that this entire root system is going to support this Fuerte on this side and the Haas on that side and now we've got our type B and our type A avocado that will cross pollinate one another and you can see it's all resting on this one rootstock starting at about three feet off the ground. What we're going to do first is I'm going to remove the graft and the graft practice that we used and utilized and here we are now the first week of August about two to three months ago we did a grafting method known as the approach graft and what we're going to do now is simply remove the rootstock of the Haas approach graft to the rootstock of the avocado rootstock that we've used so that's what we're going to do together right now if you want to come around this side I'm going to go behind the tree so here we are with the Haas avocado this is the Haas avocado approach graft. As you can see, this is the grafted area. This is the grafted Haas, which is in its own Haas container over here. And what we're gonna do today is simply remove the Haas avocado like so. And You can now pull the container away from the plant. Quite a bit of green happening around it. Here's the Haas. On the back side, we're gonna do the Fuerte together next. So come around to the other side and we'll remove now the Fuerte. This here is all sucker growth that you see. Even this branch over here is some of the sucker growth. We can pull that out like so. Let me get you even closer to remove another branch. But we're gonna clean all this up towards the end. But you can see, and I wanna share this with you since we're now closer, you can see Here's the Fuerte avocado. Here is the container of the Fuerte. And if you come in closer, what I want to see, share with you is the cambium tissues, which is the underlying, the bark of both the rootstock as well as the Fuerte avocado have now joined and become one. What we're gonna do next now is we're going to whitewash the entire structure. The avocado of all fruit trees is the most sensitive to sunburn. In the winter, there is a phenomenon known as sun scald, where if there's too much light on the bark, it can result in burn, just as it can burn in the summer when there's too much light on the tree's trunk as well. Being that the tree no longer has a canopy, and also important at the time of planting, again, when the plant has no canopy, there's too much light exposure to the tree trunk and that can result in tree burn. So what we're gonna do, instead of applying a chemical paint or a tar-based product to the plant, which, again, those products are designed to last for decades and centuries and potentially contaminate the soil as the tree's bark is gonna replace itself out every one to three years, we don't want any of those chemical products within the soil and lasting in the soil for decades. Instead, what we're gonna do is use this product over here, which is the Ivor Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard Protection Against Damaging Sunburn Insects and Rodents. And it's for use on your roses, fruit, and nut trees, ornamental trees, and shrubs. And the product is registered material for use in organic agriculture. And here we're using it for protecting newly installed plants and trees. 
but also shields pruned and damaged surfaces. And this is an important point as well. If you come in a little closer over here, you'll notice over here is the top of the rootstock. As you can see, this is a very large area, and this is an area that will not be protected by itself for many, many years, even up to a decade until this particular Haas avocado branch and back here, the Fuerte avocado branch gets large enough that it ultimately protects and naturally shields this exposed surface. So we've just whitewashed the um, entire graft zones. We've whitewashed the pruned areas off the rootstock, which is, would be near the crown as it is also known. If we did a crown graft, we would have grafted near that pruned area. And now we're gonna continue whitewashing our way all the way down to the ground level, as again, the plant doesn't have a canopy to protect the underlying tree trunk. So we're gonna continue whitewashing all the way down to the ground level. I'll be doing the rest of that on my own time. So here we are now about 10 or 15 feet off the ground and check out again the Haas and Fuerte double grafted tree just behind me with its fruit. Come on in. Check these out. And then if you go up a little further and follow my hand, see there's more fruit right there. And then maybe when you take a look down below, I'm hoping you can capture all the fruit that are in there. I mean, there's dozens of fruit. So if you've enjoyed this educational lesson brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us a thumbs up and most importantly, share it with your gardening friends and family as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the push bell notification to get informed of all of these educational lessons as soon as they become made available. As always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.